Hi, I'm Alex Grokut, Product Manager for Microcontroller Tools at ARM. Today I'm talking about the new Kyle DS5 tools. DS5 is a toolkit designed for building and debugging Linux applications on ARM-based systems. We'll take a look at an example using the Nometrics game running on a Beagle board. We'll see that in just a few minutes we can configure the hardware and software needed to build the application and debug it on a remote target. Let's take a closer look. To set up our hardware, we'll need the Beagle board. This will be our target. It's running a Linux kernel and file system that's stored on an SD flash card. We need to connect a USB hub to our target so that the Beagle board acts as the USB host. To this, we add a USB network interface adapter, which will give us an Ethernet interface. We can connect to this via a standard local area network, or as in this example, a direct cable between the target and our host machine. You can plug a separate keyboard, mouse, and monitor into the Beagle board if you wish. In this example, I'll be using the host machine to remote access a session on the Beagle board. Finally, we need to power up the target. I'll configure my host machine to have a static IP address on the same subnet as the Beagle board. Once I've done this, I can check connection to the Beagle board by using a simple ping command. If the ping command succeeds and I get a reply from the Beagle board, I know all the hardware is configured as it should be. So let's take a look at the software. DS5 is available as a free trial download. Simply download and install it. The website includes links to all the resources you need to recreate this example. You'll need to copy the Linux kernel and file system to an SD flash card. Now it's time to do something interesting. DS5 comes with a lot of example applications, including the Nometris game I'm building here. Once my application is built, I need a way to transfer it to my target. No problem. I simply tell DS5 where the Beagle board is on my network, then I can browse the file system remotely and drag and drop my application from the host where it's being built to the target system where I want to run it. Now I can use an SSH session, either from within DS5 or by using PuTTY to launch my Nometris game. Great, it's up and running. I've used DS5 to build my first Linux application on my host. Then I've connected it to the target and simply used drag and drop to download it. Now I'm running my first game of Gnometris. DS5 has made all of this very simple and straightforward. In fact, the only difficulty I've got at the moment is that I'm not very good at playing Nometris. So I'm going to use the debugger to make life a little bit easier for me. As well as project and target management, DS5 includes a fully integrated, powerful graphical debugger. By telling it to listen for a GDB server connection on the target, and then starting the game again, this time using GDB server, DS5 gives me complete visibility and control of the applications running on the Beagle board. I can browse the source code of the application, check the current status, and modify the behavior. Using a breakpoint and a couple of minor edits, I can change the behavior of Nometris to make my life a bit easier. Now when I restart my application, I find that the odds are stacked a bit more in my favor. This is just one very simple example of how fast and easy it is to create and control Linux applications on an ARM-based system with DS5. There's lots of other examples and a wide range of functionality that we simply don't have time to cover in this clip. Visit the website to find out more and to download your DS5 trial today. Check out the related videos for step-by-step -step instructions on how to recreate this entire demo. Thanks for listening.